Breaking news from WRAL. Good afternoon, I'm David Crabtree. The jury in the John Edwards trial has reached a verdict on one of six counts. Within the past two minutes, they sent the judge a note saying they were unable to reach a unanimous verdict on the other five counts. Aaron Hartness, who just came out of the courtroom, joining us now by phone in Greensboro. Aaron, this note was just passed to the judge in the past three or four minutes, right? That's right, David. So the jury came back, you know, they went back in about 3.20 or so this afternoon. The judge encouraged them to try to reach a verdict on all these counts. They they knocked at about 4 o'clock with another note, and this note read that they felt that they had exhausted every aspect. Those were their words, exhausted every aspect. And we don't know what that verdict is. The judge right now has given an opportunity to the lawyers to argue what should be done in this case, and it looks like there's some movement coming out of the courtroom right now, so I'm gonna gonna go find out what that is. Actually, I'm hearing reporters scream "not guilty" right now. So apparently, count three was not guilty. Is that correct? Okay, I just heard from CBS News, our partners, of course, that count three is not guilty. So John Edwards has been found not guilty. And did the judge declare a mistrial in the other counts? Okay, nobody seems to know that. All the reporters ran out just saying not guilty on count three. So we'll have to get back to you on, on what will happen in the other counts. Presumably what would happen in this situation is the judge would declare a mistrial and then it would be up to federal prosecutors to determine whether or not to, again, retry John Edwards. Wow. Aaron Hartness, thank you for that. Uh, folks, you're watching and you're listening to this being uh, this developing story, breaking story being processed as we are. You just heard Erin Hartness say she was told by her counterparts at CBS News, John Edwards found not guilty on one count of the six count indictment. The jury has said it's unable to reach a verdict on the other five counts. Of course, we have now learned since I last spoke to you that the judge has declared a mistrial on the five counts that the jury has not agreed on. The jury found John Edwards not guilty on count three, which was a count of accepting illegal campaign contributions from heiress Bunny Mellon in 2008. It would be interesting to hear from the jury about why they reached that agreement. We Stacy, you've had a chance to talk with people since this jury sent its note and made its verdict known. What are you hearing? Uh, well, we were able to just briefly talk to Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, John's parents, who have come to this trial every day, told us they have driven from Robbins, this small North Carolina town uh, where Edwards went to high school and grew up. Uh, Mom said, I'm just too emotional right now. And then Mr. Edwards, when asked about what does he think about the jury's decision, he said, this says it all. Simple comments from simple country folks. Uh, who have been by their son's side. Uh, again, really the most sympathetic characters I feel in this entire trial. I was actually handed the actual copy of the verdict sheet. It has been filed May 31st. This is Edwards' get out of jail free card. No unanimous decision written by each of the five counts and then the not guilty X by count three. So from what we understand, he is behind those doors about to come out in any minute and any moment. And Kelsey, as we wait, what happens next? Do they prosecute again or is it just too expensive to go down this road again? Well, I've talked to a number of attorneys who, you know, this is their opinion, of course, but a number of attorneys who, are, oh, apparently John Edwards is waiting behind that door right now. And, and as you heard from the attorney there, that uh, he would like to get in his car. And there, there is John Edwards followed by his dad mm -hmm. There's and Wallace his mom and, Bobby. and uh, Kate. We'll see if he does stop, may have anything to say on his way out. It appears he is approaching the microphone. He's going to give a comment Let's to the media. Let's listen in to John Edwards. Well, I wanted to say first, uh, thank you for the jurors and their incredibly hard work and their diligence. Uh, they took their job very, very seriously. That. While I do not believe I did anything illegal or ever thought I was doing anything illegal, I did an awful, awful lot that was wrong. And there is no one else responsible for my sins. None of the people who came to court and testified are responsible. Nobody working for the government is responsible. I am responsible. 
And if I want to find the person who should be held accountable for my sins, honestly, I don't have to go any further than the mirror. It's me. It is me and me alone.